Welcome to the official generation old school YouTube channel. In this channel we post videos of old school cars and trucks. We meet with classic car enthusiasts just like you to bring you the adventure you deserve. Not only we review each classic custom car in detail, but bring you the history and background of each vehicle. We also go on a street ride and test the vehicle's ability to perform above and beyond. If you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow us on social media at Generation Old School on Instagram. Short, I mean, I've owned it for 15 years now. I mean, not the way you see it, obviously, but... Um, what year is it? 53. 1953, yeah. yeah. I bought it out of North Carolina. Took it to a body shop. You know, I had like a little rust spot in there and wanted to fix. But the truck just sat there. Really? The body shop had to How long it took you to get it like this? The last four years, been working on it. I mean, not consistently, but... Uh-huh. Custom. And uh, he, uh, how we put the truck, so... The 327, small yeah. block. Uh, 700 trans, uh, that's 308 gears in it, Merrill rim. You know, it's just a basic small block, nothing fancy. Uh, what type of suspension are you running in it? Actually, it's on an S10 frame, and I have the Acura suspension on it with the E-level. Can you show me the inside? Yeah, sure. Wow, bro, this thing is nice. I mean, the dash to the truck is not the original dash. It's actually a, a car dash, a 52 Chevy car dash. The original one that I had on the truck was kind of you know rusted out. Uh -huh. I didn't want to fix it, so I just went ahead and bought a car dash. Like I said, I wanted it to be different from everybody else. Of course. No, the car looks really nice. It's one of the best ones here, let me tell you. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the bed. Uh, frames, you rolled in the framework uh -huh. for the bed. The wood I bought off of Mark A. And then the staining was out of um, Glitz, Tropical Glitz. So it has uh, Acura, like you see here. You got the two compressors, you got the tank, and then you got the Acura. The tank, these trucks normally bring the tank inside the cab. Back in the days, they would bring it inside the actual cab. I still left the nozzle out there, you see. Oh, you did? Yeah. I just wanted the truck to look very correct. But I wanted the whole thing, you know, the modern, you know. So Danny, do you have AC on I this do truck? I have AC on it. It's the uh, unit down there. Okay. I got the, the vents come out here. Take them. I got two vents. A vent here and a vent over there, and I got a one in the middle of the here. I got the compressor here, which is. But it's not. Like I said, I need to run the hose. The truck is done right. You know what I'm saying. But the only thing I would have wished I would have done was is put a motor motor. In. That's what I should have done. But I started building the truck with the motor first. But I already had the motor ready before I bought the truck. So I had the motor started putting on the pulleys and all that shit if it'll build. What I would have should have done is just a motor an LS motor and turn key, get in and go, you know